It's great to be back covering No Man's Sky after a brief hiatus. Thank you all so much for your patience and the laps in the upload schedule. Mine and my wife's birthday just passed over the last week or so, and it was nice to just kind of take a break and celebrate and sort of blow off some steam before getting back into it. But there's new news today coming from a Steam experimental drop, long laundry list of fixes, the biggest of which are VR improvements and, of course, a status on the community missions. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the LZ. Good to have you back after about a couple of weeks of a break. It's nice to get back in front of the microphone again. And the efforts to fix what's broken in No Man's Sky Beyond have been long and exhaustive, but slowly but surely we seem to be reaching hopefully a conclusion and a more stable experience for players on across all platforms. PlayStation 4 finally released its physical edition just yesterday for the new Beyond package. I don't want to get my hands on that. And the new experimental patch has hit Steam today, and of course, the natural progression of those things is those patches usually head to the various platform holders for certification, namely Microsoft and Sony. Typically, we get those updates just days after the experimental drop has happened, once Hello Games is confirmed that those fixes are stable and working and don't, you know, further destroy and break the game. And of course, there's a long, exhaustive list of features being fixed, which I think is really cool, but two things of note really caught my eye in this new experimental branch. First things first, let's talk about the Nexus and the community missions. So, let's talk about the first few items on that list. Added new events to the Nexus. This is really interesting to me. They've called this Encrypted Missions that will appear on the Nexus mission list. The objectives for these missions are hidden until the mission is in progress, but the rewards are far higher. Each day, every player also has the chance to complete a Nexus mission to earn Quicksilver. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because generally the Nexus missions really, to me so far, aren't that exciting. I don't want to blow my review so far. I'm still writing that. I've been waiting for them to just make sure they get the game stable first before I can genuinely experience the game to its fullest without being too cranky in my review. But they've been fun, actually. I've, uh, I, I've, I, I do appreciate the idea of doing these things with other people. I've, I do really like dogfighting with other, uh, with other players. I think that's pretty neat. So, um, but I'm really hoping they can add a little more allure to what these missions are. But encrypted missions are kind of neat. And I, I just really hope that they aren't saying, here, do this random mission that you don't know what it is. And, oh, and go by the way, pick these flowers. That, to me, doesn't feel particularly useful. But one thing I do want to say is, is I don't feel like they are incentivizing people to play together that well yet. Uh, so, I mean, of course, friends can get together and play together, but they're friends, right? They're used to doing that. But I'm looking to see if they will add more ways to have players come together and incentivize them to play together. Currently, that's really not there. Next, they're adding new customization items for Viking and that's more of a full Viking style armor. I think that's cool. You can only get these through Quicksilver, which means that they are uh, adding another way to add, to earn Quicksilver in the game, which hasn't been a thing since like, since like nearly a year ago, it feels like. Also, progress towards unlocking these items is achieved by community-wide completion of Nexus missions. So, that's interesting. I'm wondering how they're going to execute on this. Uh, the previous community missions weren't all that great, uh, especially since you couldn't really see each other, but now that you can do these uh, community missions uh, with at least eight players or more, um, that's going to be kind of, uh, I'm going to, I really appreciate that they're at least putting some progress towards that. Now, of course, it notes that these items will not be available until they hit all platforms, so that way everybody can sort of participate. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really anxious to see how they're going to do that. And then lastly, they're talking about PSVR and PC VR optimizations, uh, particularly for rendering. Um, uh, I've seen both in action so far. I have not played either because I don't own either. But uh, really, the PSVR really suffers from some really bad quality. Um, and now, that's not to say that it's not as rewarding an experience to those who can tough that kind of experience out. But it's exactly the reason why I don't play uh, on PSVR, that is. It's just because it's it, it, I can't see myself playing that low a quality an image for that long. Significantly in 
improved image quality and PSVR, reduced blurriness caused by TAA jitter and fixed low quality terrain, atmosphere jaggies, introduced a number of general PC optimizations, introduced an optimization to region decoration. Uh, so uh, I guess assets that are popping in um, for, you know, regionally things closer to you or whatnot. So I, I'm, I'm glad they finally are looking into doing something to PSVR because I know that's the common complaint that I'm seeing so far uh, for people's sort of reception of VR on console, right? And I kind of expected this, but I didn't think it would be that bad. Uh, turns out it was, but uh, glad they're looking into that. Folks, I've really got to thank the following individuals on the screen here. They have started and have continued contributing to a PC fund for the LZ to help continue No Man's Sky coverage and coverage beyond for whatever may come, whatever the channel becomes. My PC is a little it's showing its age. Uh, so I'm glad they, I, I'm super happy and I'm, I'm thankful for them for starting this fund. Uh, it has reached over $200 now or about a quarter of what the goal is at about $1,000 or $1,100. Thank you so much to these individuals. And of course, these individuals for contributing to the LZ monthly. You have no idea how much this helps us here. Uh, and uh, thank you so much, everybody. And I look forward to seeing what No Man's Sky and Hello Games can do with the community missions. I don't have a ton of hope yet based on history and sort of the progress of my review so far, but um, I'm certainly open-minded to it. So here's to Hello Games doing something super cool with that, and I'll see y'all in the LZ next time.